Hey guys, we're back on the 18 horse Evinrude from 1973. Time to get the lower unit pulled out and start fixing all the problems in there. First step to getting the uh, lower unit off of this motor is going to be disconnecting the shifter. Shift rod here goes down through into the lower unit and engages with the, uh, the shift dog in the bottom. Behind this little cover there should be a uh, coupler that joins the shaft that's part of the uh, lower unit to the shaft that's part of the upper part. And as you can see, kind of a little grungy, but flat blade screwdriver doesn't want to do it. So something tells me that looks to be, I don't know, 7 16 socket or maybe 3 8 I'm going to be careful we don't lose that down into the bottom although we're going to be taking the uh, exhaust housing apart here don't want to uh, lose it if we can avoid it doesn't want to come apart just like that but we can pull it out when we disconnect the rest of these bolts let me grab some uh, wrenches we'll take the there's like a nut here bolt bolt same on the other side this is a bolt not a nut if we can fit it in here, we may as well use it. And one trick that we're going to do is leave one of these bolts just kind of barely threaded on. That looks like a good one. That way, if, when everything breaks loose, we don't end up dropping the lower unit. Well, that is a good sign that the uh, lower unit's loose. There we are. We give everything a little squirt with some parts cleaner. Just take the worst of the grunge off of everything. We've got our shifter rod there, the water tube, which is a uh, usually a copper tube that runs up to the head, it comes out of there, and this is our main input. Definitely needs some cleaning. There is exhaust that comes down through here. The exhaust exits out the uh, the tail of the skeg. When you're burning mixed fuel, like you do in a two-stroke outboard, you tend to end up with a lot of uh, oil coked all over everything. Not necessarily a big deal, just take the opportunity to clean it up. Take these four screws out of the uh, water pump. Looks the same as the new one. Well, the uh, water pump has definitely seen better days. It's missing one of its the tip off one of its fins. And it most definitely is uh, holding a shape. You can see how badly cracked it is. Basically, uh, if we had not replace the water pump and we put this motor back in service it would not likely have uh, lasted long that's the pin for the uh, water pump impeller uh, make sure we don't lose that there's our wear plate it has uh, it looks like it has wear but when you clean the uh, the dirt off of there it actually doesn't look like it's all that badly worn and there's some white stuff down in there i don't know what, whether i'd raise to to the level of calling it corrosion this is a uh, freshwater motor it's never seen salt water thing definitely doesn't sound very good there but that is the next thing we want to go after we'll take a bucket and uh, now that I've pulled the drain plug drain and vent plug out ooh, we have a little more water in there considering I drained all of the water out of this and uh, put fresh gear oil in there the fact that we ended up with a little bit more water in there pretty much confirms to me that the uh, the seals are shot either this seal up at the top or the seal on the uh, propeller we didn't run it very hard in the tank just basically got it to fire 
that was all I was uh, trying to get it to do. That was enough to get more water into the lower unit. Those globs that are coming out of there are water. I don't know how that shows up in there, but those uh, swirls of what looks like gravy are uh, water that's mixed in with the oil. Caught her pinhole in the prop on, has definitely seen better days. Good to get rid of it in the garbage. Propeller shaft and all important shear pin. Try the impact gun and see if it uh, is able to buzz these out. grab the oil bucket again as I have a sneaking suspicion there's still going to be some left in here that will spill all over the place when I crack it open. And that's definitely been a part. So what I was just wiggling around in there is the pin that attaches this shaft that goes up to the uh, shifter lever on the motor. And it, and it brings it down to the uh, fork that moves the shift dog. Now we can, uh, I think we can set this oil on the floor before I dump it all over myself. Here's the uh, prop shaft assembly. We don't want to lose the spring or the check ball for the uh, shifter, or it really won't stay in line. Oh, there's another one. This doesn't look bad, but if you look closely, I don't know whether you're going to focus on that or not, but the uh, this is your reverse side, and uh, it looks quite a bit taller than the forward side. Although I'm not seeing any real badly rounded off edges. The original is worn, but it's not. I wouldn't think that that would be a problem. But we'll replace it. We'll put the new one in. Gears show a little bit of wear, but not, not too terrible. I got a whole bunch of cleaning that I need to do here. I'll bring you guys back when I'm done. Unless, of course, I come across something uh, really interesting that uh, I figure is worth turning the camera back on for. Otherwise, we'll see you in a couple minutes. I've got most of the cleaning done. There's still a little bit more that has to be done. Uh, I got a, the seals that I've got to remove. But uh, one thing we want to do before we get too carried away is chase all the threads. I've dug out the uh, the three sizes of tap that we need here. This is a uh, 3 8 16 appears to be. And we don't want to cut new threads, but we want to kind of just feed it in to clean up the existing ones. When this was assembled, it was supposed to use gasket sealing compound as a, uh, a thread lubricant, thread sealant, and uh, that would be in there kind of gumming things up a little bit. So it's always good to uh, clean out. This one is a uh, number 1032, and that's for the water pump. This one is quarter 20. And these are the, uh, the threads that hold the, the skeg onto the uh, lower unit. And on that one, you can see the pile of scum that it pulled out of the threads. That's uh, well worth doing. None of that is metal shavings. That's all just old sealant and RTV, that kind of thing. Stuff that we don't want left in the, uh, the threads when we go to reassemble everything. I'm gonna finish this up. I'll bring you guys back when I've got uh, all the threads chased and then we'll start popping some uh, seals out of this thing. I've got all the uh, threads chased in this uh, in the lower unit and I also did the uh, the bottom of the uh, outboard where the lower unit attaches. Now I'll take an air hose and just and as you can see the air hose was uh, was able to pull a bunch of garbage out of there as well. Repeat for up here. There we go.
Next step is to get the old seals out of everything. And because uh, I don't have a bench vise on this table, it's going to be a little bit of a challenge, but not too bad. This is a uh, standard lip seal. This is the bushing that goes in the back here. That's our uh, rear propeller shaft bushing and seal. And we've got a, uh, a standard lip seal here, kind of along the lines of a uh, what you'd get on a wheel of a car kind of thing. It's got a spring in it. That goes flying, no big deal. What we need to do is get in there with a tool and kind of just start popping that back and forth. We'll get it out of there. And we've also got an O-ring that's gonna need replacing. Probably take some Scotch-Brite and give everything a once over so it's all nice and shiny. I've got this uh, punch wedged in here so that it is uh, up against the edge of the seal. And I'll just give it a few little the ideal way of doing this is with a vise, but obviously I don't have one on this work table. And I can't very well demonstrate a good way to do it if I don't do it in front of the camera. Fortunately, I think I am going to have to take it to the vise. I'll be right back when I get the seal out of it. As you can see, standard lip seal, and it just popped out of there. Inside we have a second lip seal, and this one it goes the opposite direction. One that's designed to keep the uh, oil inside of the lower unit and the other one that's designed to keep the uh, water out. Both of them fail, then you end up with oil outside and water inside. Not a good situation if you're concerned about rust. Let me go uh, beat the second one out, the same way I did the first on the uh, bench vise. Here we are, we've got both seals out of there. The bushing inside doesn't look like it's too chewed up. I don't know how, whether you guys can see that or not, but doesn't look uh, like it's in too terrible a condition. A few little scrapes where I bumped it with the, uh, the punch when I was knocking the seals out, but uh, no major damage. Well guys, I think we're gonna end this one here. We've got things basically torn apart and uh, this video is starting to get a little bit long. We'll do a uh, part two where we put everything back together and get it mounted back on the outboard. Thanks a lot for stopping by, greatly appreciated, and we'll see you in the next mess.